Greetings and welcome to another episode of Delisa's Life Dance. And today we're talking about the mind and um, moving forward in life and welcoming summer. And as we welcome summer, I just wanted to say congratulations to all of the graduates, whether you're graduating preschool, elementary school, middle school, high school, junior college, college, university, master's, PhDs. Congratulations to all of you out there on your accomplishments. It is well-deserved and well, very wonderful to be recognized. So I just wanted to recognize you all here on Delisa's Life Dance. Comment below, let me know if you're a graduate and what you graduated from, whether that be all of those that I said. So as we enter into summer and celebrate with so many parties and gatherings, I just wanted to make sure we keep our heads and keep a, a, a mindset that is surrounded around safety. And I wanna speak about, because I am a registered nurse and I do live in the Bay Area, around lots of water and water parks. And as my children are no longer children, I do remember going to lots of parties and events and summertime fun and everything. And I want to just make sure that we enjoy summer, but we do not forget safety first. And what does that mean to us? That means that if you're if you're around small children or you have small children or younger children, even middle school, high school children, remember how to act and react at a party where there are swimming pools, if you go to water parks, if you're boating, sailing, camping around lakes, streams, anywhere, open water. I mean, if you're a little, little guy, you can't really even be, I'm talking two-year-olds, you can't really even be around basically a cup of water. It's very, very, can be very, very um, dangerous for them because if nobody is watching them, anything can happen. So we wanna make sure to keep our families and our children safe Make sure that if you're at a party with a swimming pool or water, like I said, make sure you have a designated person to watch the children that actually is in a swimming suit and is going to be watching the children so that they can play freely and swim and enjoy the summer and not, you know, because a lot of times you get parents and they're all around the pool and um, this happened to me. They're all around the pool and everybody's enjoying everything. And even though children, you know, my kid has swimming lessons. My kid knows how to swim. Other children know how to swim. All the kids are in the pool. But guess what? Sometimes even if you're small and you're in the pool, you know how to swim. Or even as an adult, you can get a cramp. Oh my goodness. You catch a cramp in the water. If that's ever happened to you, look out. Somebody better be there to help you. Okay. So, I'm just encouraging that you have a designated water watcher and also wear your life vests, of course, if you're around the bay or lakes or all of that, the ocean, and just use your head, keep your mind. If it's something that, you know, you don't, you don't feel comfortable with your kids going in that area or you don't feel comfortable yourself in the water, just be mindful of that and listen to your inner voice at that time and lots of times you know what you should do turn around go another place find a different place lots of times they have lifeguards that are at these water parks and that's really good but you know always be aware of a buddy system with your kids if they're going on field trips to these water parks they should have a buddy um i think one child has already be gotten rescued from a water park at field trip and they were able to bring the child out of the water, up out of the water, and do CPR and revive them. And that is another um, thing, is that we as adults, we should know CPR, even layman CPR. So if you have a local CPR Red Cross class, I, and you are someone that is involved with child care, or well, with child care you have to, but I even encourage young adults to get their CPR certification um, because you never know, some something may happen to a parent or a grandparent and you may be the only one in the house. So 
safety first. So use your heads, people, and enjoy the summer. I also want to tell you that I told you about the life vest. I told you about, oh, so also make sure you stay hydrated. You got to drink your water when you're out in the sun and stay hydrated. I know lots of Disney trips and Disneyland trips and outdoor events and lots and lots of street fairs and all kind of running and uh, you know marathons and we I, we we performed at a at a 5k I think a marathon no not you know it's 5k it's not really a marathon but I had a run at a fun run with children and having lots of water available for everyone make sure you stay hydrated in the sun and even in overcast so what does that bring me to hmm the largest organ on the human body, the skin, the integumentary system. So I always, even though I am of the mel melanin, sun-kissed woman, I still wear a hat when I'm outside. So I encourage everyone to wear a hat, wear sunglasses, protect yourself, protect your skin from these UV rays. And um, let's have a really awesome summer and have a great time. But these are just things that we need to think about because lots of times we just jump the car, we forget our sunscreen, forget our hat, don't take water when we're hiking, you know, just get in that go mode. But we what? We have to keep our heads. So this is a Mindset Monday, and I wanted to let you know to always Think of safety first, especially with the little ones and the big ones, and also the older ones, because our older adults are very fragile, and so they have to be aware of where they are as well, and we have to watch them too. So take care, everybody. I, if you liked anything that I talked about on this channel, please comment below, hit the like button, hit the subscribe notification, and also hit, hit the bell notification so you know when I'm bringing you something that you may want to hear. So have a wonderful summer. Welcome summer. Welcome all the newness of the summer that summer brings. And enjoy yourselves and have fun out there in the water. But also remember, we're 70% water. I drink 9.5, so we're 70% water. So make sure you stay hydrated. I love you guys. I'll talk to you Wednesday. Ciao.